Today, many companies use employee badges for authentication. Thin Manager can easily accommodate that. So let's take a look at how easy this is to set up. I have an RF Ideas badge scanner and an unassigned badge. I'm going to quickly hook up the scanner and we can jump into Thin Manager to configure our terminal to use it. These are great scanners because they can be mounted, they're reliable, and I like that the cord folds back so when they're, when they're mounted it looks clean and it's a great install. Let's go ahead and hook it up. Now that I have my badge scanner connected to my terminal, inside of Thin Manager, navigate to the left side tree pane and select Terminals. Let's double click into the terminal I installed the scanner onto to open the terminal configuration wizard. Inside the wizard, using the next button, we want to first navigate to the terminal mode selection screen. We want to check that we have checked the box to enable location services. Using the next button, click one more time to the login requirements screen. Here we will check the login methods to make sure the terminal allows for badge card logins. Click OK. Now we will select the button named Login Options. There is a checkbox here that allows card registration at the terminal. It is checked by default, but always good to make sure. Again, click OK. Again, using the Next button, we will navigate all the way to the module selection screen. We want to add the module for the RF Ideas USB badge scanner. Click Add. This will bring up the module attachment window. You can see we have many modules to expand the functionality of your terminal and configuration. We're going to navigate to the RF Ideas PC Prox USB module, select it, and click OK. Now let's highlight the module and click the Configure button. We want to select our badge reader module from the drop down. My model is the one already showing, but you may need to change the selection depending on the model you are using. I can now click Done and click Finish. We now need to restart our terminal for the configuration changes to be applied. Simply right click on your terminal and select Restart Terminal and then click Yes. Now that the terminal is restarted, I will scan my new badge. Let's shadow our terminal so we can see the on-screen process. I will scan my new badge. Since we have checked that the Allow Card Registration at the Terminal checkbox was checked, we are prompted to enter which user this badge will be used for. I will enter Anna as my user, and then I will authenticate Anna with her password and click OK. Now we are logged in as Anna, and we can see the Thin Manager interface that is assigned to the administrator group that Anna is a part of, as well as the motor schematic that's assigned at the terminal location. We can also see in the left side tree pane in Thin Manager that Anna is logged in at the terminal at the location assigned to the terminal. To sign out, we simply scan the badge again. We can see that Anna's content immediately goes away and we are left with just the content assigned to the terminal's location. We can now navigate in Thin Manager on the left side tree pane to Thin Manager users and double click on Anna. Using the Next button, we will click twice to move to the Card Badge Information screen. You can now see that Anna has a badge set up and can use it to authenticate to any terminal with the badge scanner installed in your Thin Manager configuration. Using badges in conjunction with Thin Manager is a great option to save time and is a simple process to set up. To learn more about security and Thin Manager users, visit ThinManager.com.